What's up, y'all, man? King Loser, bro. Oh, I forgot I broke it. I broke my fucking weed pipe, my nigga, so no more than out the weed pipe. Y'all see what's up with the Porter earring, bro. Anybody that's ever watched Dragon Ball Z? These are the, the earrings go cool you to use the fuse that there's black instead of green. I'm gonna get the green, I'm gonna get the green one, so. Yeah, I see that green. I'm gonna try to get one green, red, blue, all of them. I love them a lot. These are my favorite earrings. These hoes go harder than the bitch, bro. But anyway, like I was saying, um, King Carlos, you know what I'm saying? Back in the building with another one. Um, I want to speak on this whole Rod Wave, PNB Rock situation and shit, bro. And how niggas is bitter. Like, This is my thing. This is my whole thing, bro. As people and as in and, and, and music, creativity is... See, this is why I put Kid Cudi above a lot of these niggas. It's because his creativity level, his artistry level, and his level to really be an individual and stick to his guns of his style and not switch up and try to go with the times and sell a record. I really fuck with it, bro. Um... The thing with PNB Rock and make why PNB Rock look bit why you look bitter, bro. Um, who says Rod Wave even listens to you? Like, who says Rod Wave has ever listened to a song of yours? How is a nigga your son just because they sing? It, they sing, they do melodies, and they do hip hop. That don't mean a nigga. That's not listen, bro. Like, I don't believe in that whole father the style and shit like that. Like. Because there's so many people in the world and you don't choose to get on. The industry chooses you. So just because you were chose by the industry or you were brought to a label by a certain person because they like some of you, that doesn't mean you're the only motherfucker and the first motherfucker to use that style. You're just the first motherfucker to get notarized, to get put on a mainstream level where the world can see it with that style. It's just like, like for a long time, people thought that Boosie was the only motherfucker from Baton Rouge that could rap, right? Until until people start going to Baton Rouge and saying, "Oh, bro, it's not just Boosie's hop, like you know, what I'm saying high pitch, gutter style of rap. You got young, you got young boy, you got the young boys with the melodies. You got the Fredo Bangs that can rap with melody. You know, what I'm saying you got the Fredo Bangs that can rap. That saucy, they got their own swag with their own melody and their own unique voice. You got the you had G, you had the real G Money with a unique voice, a great, a great hip hop flow. You know, what I'm saying you had Boulevard Quick who was just a beast lyric. You know, what I'm saying like." But just imagine somebody who just listens to Young Boy. They don't think that anybody outside of um, Baton Rouge don't sound, sound any different than Young Boy. They imagine somebody just listens to Boots. You know what I'm saying? Imagine a nigga who only in Chicago only knows Chief Keith. They don't know nothing about Six Hundred Breezy. They don't know nothing about Six Hundred Mimo and all them niggas. You know what I'm saying, bro? I mean Mimo Six Hundred. They don't know about all them niggas, bro. So it's stupid for this nigga to come out and say, "Oh, uh, this nigga, um." This nigga Rod Wave is my son, and he took my style. Like, bro, niggas might not even know who you are. Just like he didn't know who Rod Wave was, bro. And that don't, and that don't take none away from either y'all. But stop saying you created a style. No, you didn't, bro. You're one single person. You don't have the greatest mind on person on earth. The Most High made us all talented. You're not the only musically motherfucker. You're not the only musical black person. The only Hebrew with musical talent. That's what we we all have. A lot of us are born musical talent. Shit. Some more than others. But if you want to be honest with you, everybody, if you if you were, and what I mean by that is, if your parents had put you in music culture when you were a child, everybody is born with a singing voice. A child can naturally has a high pitched voice that could be um, molded into a singing voice. But as we get older, of course, naturally it goes away. You know what I'm saying? Some people coach, some people teach their kids to, to hold on to their voice, and they develop them and have great singing voices. You know what I'm saying? And then some people are just diamonds, like, you know, R. Kelly shit. You know what I'm saying? Other great voices. Maxwell, you know the great voices you've heard. Yeah, shit. Uh, Christina Milian. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you can't, but nah, man, you can't say a nigga like, that shit is annoying, bro. Nigga, ain't, ain't nobody your son. Like, PNB Rock, like, I think PNB Rock is talented, bro. PNB Rock, you talented as fuck, but you tripping hard with that, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't your, ain't your son, man. And Rod Wave music ain't depressing. Shout out to uh, Urban Politician TV, Big Ant, bro. I feel the same way. Rod, Rod Wave music ain't depressing, dog. That nigga ain't that nigga music ain't depressing. 
the fuck are you talking about? Like, I don't think your music depressing either. I think PNB Rock got some hits too and got some cold music. Now he might be a little mad because he getting left behind, but he got a lot of money. He enjoying his life. Like when you guess what? When you look back in the music industry, it's not gonna be all about you. And if you fucking make ten, thirteen million dollars and start enjoying your life, and and spend about even though you niggas spend way more than this, say you spend about two a million, two point five million in that two th that two three years. And okay, and now you 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 still making money off streaming, but you want to put some more hot shit out there. You want to get more back into the industry. Guess what? When you look back into the industry, it's not gonna be about you. There might be another artist, and they might be saying he the greatest of all time. People are fickle, my nigga. You've been in the industry long enough to know that PNB Rock. Shit, bro, y'all both get off the gas that bullshit, my nigga. Nigga ain't father no nigga. Ain't, ain't father no nigga. And you not the first nigga with your style. If you watching in this, you ain't the first nigga with your style, bro. You if if you get notarized by somebody. Now, if you independent and you come out on your and this is what I mean when I say independent, you come out on your own and by your own unique voice, you just cat people hear you and you do something to people hear what they like. You it goes it catch it goes ear to ear to ear to ear to ear, and comes up that way organically, which doesn't happen most of the time. Because even if it's coming up organically, some big talent, some big label is gonna see it and try to skyrocket it to the top, so they can have a motherfucking, uh, so they can have a chapter in your in your story. Because they see that you finna be great. So they want a chapter in your greatness. It's just like that nigga Vlad from Vlad TV when he said he and he don't interview artists. He don't interview these young artists just because a lot of times he don't listen to their music. A lot of times he just sees that they're going to be great and he wants a chapter in their greatness. He wants to say, oh, well, I interviewed them. It's the same thing. Like, come on, man. And so a nigga, man, a nigga say, oh, nigga ain't did shit. For, nigga ain't father, no nigga ain't did shit for me, bro. It's somebody, so they can say that's all. It's the same shit, bro. So PNB Rock just got recognized before Rod Wave, but PNB Rock ain't start that style. Ain't the fucking father of that style, my nigga. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, dislike, whatever you gonna do, my nigga. Y'all let me know, hey, bro. King Carlos here, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. For real though, I'm finna come back with another video on y'all and shit.